What's up guys, welcome to my crib. It's Friday and in addition to doing this regular style, we're gonna do GameSpot's top five news stories of the week in addition to showing you my awesome digs. We'll start the tour in my trophy room. This is where we keep all the awards that I've won all over the years. And this place is still getting built, so you're gonna see a few of the rough edges. Like this Fallout 3 statue that I'm having built in my honor right now. You know, speaking of Fallout, there's a brand new story that's coming out about a new mod. It looks like cell shaded graphics. Let's check it out. The Fallout 4 community has already shown off what the RPG would look like with higher resolution graphics. But a new fan-made visual tweak goes in a different direction. Redditor Reddit is Wrong adjusted the game's visuals to depict the game with a Borderlands-style cel-shaded graphics look. This was made possible by altering the Sweet Effects reshade ENB injector file and using a combination of other mods. You can customize the INI file to your liking, how strong the border is, stuff like that. Developer Bethesda admitted that it dialed back the game's graphics in part to allow the studio to deliver a deep level of interactivity. So this mod might be up your alley if you prefer this aesthetic. Our next stop, we're going to take you on a tour through Giant Bomb, who have completely and utterly moved in. They're absolutely a great example of how it should be done around here. Anyway, back to the news. Scalebound and ReCore have sadly both been delayed. ReCore, the upcoming adventure game from Microsoft and Mega Man creator Keiji Inafune, will not launch this spring as originally planned. A Microsoft representative tells Engadget that the Xbox One and PC game is now slated to arrive during the latter half of 2016, though an exact date was not divulged. Scalebound, the Xbox One exclusive action RPG in development at Osaka Studio Platinum Games, has been delayed to a 2017 release date. In a message to fans, co-authored by several key developers at Platinum Games, Games, studio claimed that the extended deadline was necessary in order to deliver on our ambitious vision. Next up on our tour is The Pit. This is where GameSpot producers work tirelessly to provide you with the latest and greatest in gaming news. Speaking of hot news, this week Oculus released its price. Oculus VR on Wednesday this week opened pre-orders for the Oculus Rift consumer model, which means the pre-order package, which comes with an Xbox One controller, Oculus Remote, Sensor, and free copies of Eve Valkyrie and Lucky's Tale, as well as the cables you need to get started, is gonna cost you 600 bucks. The headset starts shipping on March 28th. There's a limit of one per customer. The recommendation memory requirement is eight gigabytes of RAM, while the processor recommendation is a mid-range Intel i5-4590. The graphics card shouldn't be less powerful than the NVIDIA GTX 970 or the AMD R9290. Meanwhile, four USB ports are required for all parts of the peripheral to work. Oculus recommends that three of these are USB 3.0. And what's a GameSpot tour without a look into the fridge? In our fourth news story, it sounds like we will not be getting a new Assassin's Creed game for the entire year. Since the release of Assassin's Creed 2 in 2009, we've gotten a new entry in the core franchise every year, alongside spin-offs in the case of the most recent years. That won't be the case this year though, as a new report suggests that Ubisoft will skip 2016 in favor of a 2017 release for a new game set in Egypt. The game is currently called Assassin's Creed Empire and could signal a bi-annual release schedule for the series going forward. It also says the hole in Ubisoft's fall schedule could be filled by Watch Dogs 2, which is reportedly set in downtown sweet, sweet San Francisco. Finally, we conclude our tour with a brief look at the lobby where currently Danny and Andy are working their butts off to make a brand new live show. God it. Tomb Raider's coming out on PC in January. Rise of the Tomb Raider will launch for PC on January 28th, Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics announced. The action-adventure game debuted in November 2015 as a timed exclusive for Xbox One and 360. The PC edition of Rise of the Tomb Raider was developed by Crystal Dynamics and Nixess Software. It'll support 4K resolution to offer stunning new detail. Hot. Rise of the Tomb Raider will be available through physical retailers and online marketplaces, such as Steam, Windows Store, and Square Enix's own store. Standard edition is 60 bucks, while the digital deluxe edition, which features the game and its DLC pass, is 90. Rise of the Tomb Raider is also coming to PS4 
PS4, but not until holiday 2016. So that's it for our tour of GameSpot and our top five news stories of the week. That's it for me. I gotta go back to work. Get out of here.